Howdy. Uh, my name is Bruce, and uh, my pastor in Palo Alto, California, at First Presbyterian Church of Palo Alto, and uh, I'm working with uh, groups uh, around uh, looking at how to use Zoom and worship. Um, lots of people are having these conversations. I'm grateful for those who are participating in um, part of our Zoom laboratories and other things. Um, uh, you can look at my video from a couple of days ago that talks about Zoom bombing in particular, about how to um, prevent some of that. But also, um, I want to talk a little bit about today about how to um, uh, disengage the uh, automatic default around adding passwords uh, to your um, to your account's passwords and uh, waiting rooms. Uh, as you know, uh, supposedly on April 5th, uh, though it has happened earlier for many of our accounts, uh, uh, Zoom has instituted these defaults that all meetings will have passwords automatically, as well as um, uh, the waiting room. The, the reasoning I get, it's totally, we're trying to lock things down, trying to get things safe, but um, for many of us that are using this for the first time, or if you are using it for the first time, you know that the, the password piece automatically um, creates another level of technology and communication and all the things that are going to hold people back from participating in your worship. So you need to decide whether that's worth it or not. But I'm going to show you a workaround that many of you already have discovered, but I just wanted to make sure that it gets out there. So I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to share my screen with you now and um, to show you uh, how uh, this goes about. All right. So what you're seeing now, probably when you look into your account, is something like this. This is from my personal account where it says require a password when scheduling new meetings and you can't change those and require a password to instant meetings. You can't change them because the administrator has locked it down. So you would think you'd be the administrator, but you're not. Um, when a single basic or pro account, it doesn't, it is, it is not the same. So you just have to realize that that's, that's the reality of what's going on um, there. So um, for most of you though, you're, um, when you go into your account, here's, here's what you need to do. So um, how you work around this is you're going to add a host. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to go to plans and pricing. Um, you're going to go to buy now under the pro one. And in here, you're just going to add or edit. And then you're going to add a host right here and then just continue on through. So we've already added a second host. And what that does is it creates the situation where you actually do become the administrator of multiple accounts. And then you'll have somebody else be able to log in under that pro account. Now, it's not free. So you're upgrading. You know, it's sinister motives. You know, it's getting people to pay more money if they want to take this off. I think there's also uh, Zoom is getting a lot of pushback on some of the security. All those things can be true at the same time. Same time, if you want to stay on Zoom, you want to use it, here's the workaround. All right, so that's, that's that piece. So um, then you're going to go back to um, your main account and you're going to go settings. And uh, under settings, uh, you want to go to meeting. And you know, unlike you saw on the, the beginning uh, picture that I showed you where the passwords were blocked out, here it is no longer. So now I can require or not require, right? So I've turned off uh, dot require, not require, um, uh, not require for phone um, still. So those are the pieces that you want to go ahead and be able to, to turn off. So um, uh, not require all these passwords. Again, you're going to have to make that decision, but I just wanted to give you a, a chance to um, see how you would go about taking those things off. All right, so I'm gonna stop sharing. Again, uh, that's just one workaround in case your, your um, account is locked down and you wanna take that password off, especially for Sunday, um, that, you know, add, trying to get that information out. Now you could decide you're done with Zoom. That's, that is a perfectly legitimate choice to make as well and go to some other platforms. But at this point, if you're, if you're committed to Zoom uh, and you wanna keep up with it, um, that's your workaround for it. Um, I would invite you to join um, this Monday, um, uh, the 6th, we'll be having a conversation about security and all of this at our Zoom laboratories, as well as I would invite you to our Facebook group on Zoom Church. You can just search for either of those and I'll probably put the link down in the YouTube uh, in the story notes down there. All right, um, I hope you have a great weekend and um, this is an odd time. Uh, so we're still thankful for all those who are um, doing work around this and are truly, uh, truly essential uh, for those churches that continue to worship together. Y'all need to stop uh, because we can, as we know, our imagination is broader and we can worship in a lot of different ways. So with that, um, hope you have a great day and uh, I'll see you uh, on the internet. Bye.